Hi, I'm Kim. You're watching Kim Wilson TV. My channel is dedicated to helping victims of narcissistic abuse get free, stay free, and never have to dance with the devil again. With Christmas around the corner and the New Year's Eve festivities at hand, and a lot of people wondering, you know, is the narcissist missing you? This is a very special time of the year for many people and for families, and especially if you've got children involved. And if you are fortunate enough to be free from your narcissist, I can certainly see where sentiment and, you know, that kind of sadness around... Uh, this situation really kind of bringing up that question. So let's try and figure that out together. Does the narcissist miss you? I think to really answer this question, we have to go back to that uh, early basic information that we, you know, kind of started to grasp when trying to understand this twisted, demented situation. Now, the narcissist never saw you as a unique and separate individual. You were always considered to be almost an extension of them, a uh, part of their property, uh, something to gather, collect. They're incapable of love, and with you not being a separate entity, sadly, there's nothing really for them to miss. They may miss the fact that you kept uh, the sheets on the bed clean, that dinner was uh, served in a timely fashion, that you helped manage their affairs, that you swept all their bullshit, shit out the door as quick as they were creating it, that you, you know, fell for their lies, that you tolerated their infidelity. I mean, they may miss your compliance. They may miss your servitude. They may miss seeing you cry. They may miss how unhappy they made you because truly that is feeding their dead empty souls. I mean, if you were, and if you're at my channel, you were very likely in pretty bad situation and, and feeling pretty broken and, and smashed up from all of it. So, that feeding frenzy, that fuel that they get from hurting you, that feeding might be missed. But you, as a separate entity, no, I'm sorry, they don't miss you. Trevor doesn't miss me. They're just, they're not capable of that. I mean, to miss something, it, it has to be kind of a freestanding entity. So, no, absolutely, they don't miss you, and I'm sorry to say that. Now, if you're no contact, I can see where thinking that maybe you'll send them a little text message Christmas Day, send them a card. I wouldn't do it. This is not the day that you want to reintroduce uh, abuse and belittling and humiliation. I just wouldn't open that portal because in my experience, I just can't imagine anything good's going to come of it unless you are willing to be abused on Christmas Day, I'd keep that door shut and I'll bet there's a lot of people thinking that this might be, you know, the right thing to do, but I wouldn't do it and especially if there's kids involved, I know this is very difficult, but you know, for many people, Christmas Day should be a, a special day spent with friends and people that you love and that love you, and knowing that this person doesn't love you and targeted you only uh, to hurt you and to feed off your suffering. I just, uh, I can't see that being well placed on Christmas Day in anyone's life. When you consider an NPDs or uh, BPD's inability to feel love or empathy for another person, when you consider the fact that you're not a real uh, separate entity to them, you're not a living human being, you're just a product of their delusion and extension of their false self, and you really are just a source of supply. Now, we all know that your love that you were offering them, the kindness, the compassion you were offering them was never supplied to them. What real supply is, is your demise, uh, destruction that they cause, the chaos, the insanity, the crazy making, all the lies that you're made to believe, the infidelity and uh, cheating that you're made to suck up and, and tolerate and 
all the gaslighting and the name calling it's it's your injury it's the harm that they cause you that is their supply so you know when you take all this stuff into consideration you really come to terms very easily with the understanding that no they don't miss you and supply is so desperately needed like junkies needing a fix they move on very very quickly and yes they can glamorize and idealize this new relationship even if this new supply isn't good but the new supply is hurting you well then it's great supply and there's no need to miss you because their empty soul is being fed with your misery. Now, when you really take into consideration how much uh, you loved your narc, and I loved Trevor very much. Uh, I had made tremendous sacrifice. I had sucked up mountains of bullshit. I was absolutely determined to love him well. And when I first started researching the possibility that he was a narcissist, my God, every video, every blog, every book I read said, you've got to get out of there. And I was infuriated by that. I didn't want to leave I wanted to love him well I wanted him to have a an experience with me an, an exchange of love where he felt safe and secure and you know he'd always presented as a victim and I I wanted all of that to stop for him and I'll tell you I I did my best but in the end it's all the same it's the same the exact same across the board you can't love them well you can't help them there is no help available for them they don't even recognize there's something wrong with them they believe the problem is with everyone else and you know when you consider all that and then you are lied to cheated on dumped discarded and they just move on to a new victim yeah it's heartbreaking but guys they don't care for the new victim any more than they cared for you and that's all they are a victim just like you were and the one before you and the one after you and yeah it's horribly painful and it's a very difficult thing to accept especially at this time of year and especially you know when your lives are entangled or had been entangled and there were children involved it's a tremendously painful thing now when I say that you're not a real unique individual or even a human being for that matter to your narcissist you need to remember that that person that you fell in love with that person that you are potentially missing or could potentially be missing on Christmas Day wasn't real either that person never existed as sad as and really pathetic as that sounds that person doesn't exist that was a character that was an illusion that was the creation of a fake self to trap you <laughs> there's nothing good about it and I wish you know, especially at this time of year when family and loved ones mean so much, you have to kind of get back to the fact that that person that you love just doesn't exist. This is just a mind game. It's just twisted delusion. And the only intention was to ever harm you. Sadness to me was very incapacitating. I'm not suggesting you spend Christmas Day angry. But it wasn't until I really identified what had been done to me and I found my anger that I found the strength uh, to move forward. Now, one thing you can do uh, Christmas Eve, take a few minutes. I mean, don't obsess over it. Don't invest much time. Just a few point forms of what the narc had actually done to you to remind you Christmas morning why breaking no contact is uh, really, really detrimental. And really, you'll be inflicted harm on yourself on a day when you should be happy. Now, there were a few points that I just made to remind myself why on Christmas Day I'm going to be so fucking happy to be narc free. How I'm going to absolutely find gratitude in the fact that no creep who deceived me, pretended to love me, is going to be able to call me name shit on me or ruin my day or take my happiness or my pride or my self-respect from me on Christmas Day. Now, I know that this can be very difficult, especially if the separation is very new for you. 
You've just been discarded and possibly replaced in the blink of an eye. I get it. I really do. But this is a test of your true strength and how much you love yourself and how willing you are. You think of all the sacrifices you made for the NARC. Maybe we need to make some sacrifices for ourselves. You know, at the very least, protect ourselves on a day that's important to us. Now, if you're going to be alone Christmas Day, I'm going to post a video early Christmas morning, and we're just going to run a live thread all day so everybody can stay connected and stay in touch so no one is alone on Christmas Day. And, uh, guys, all the best of the holiday season to you. Love you guys a lot. You have no idea how much uh, coming to know you and meet you and, you know, your shared experiences have meant to me as far as healing. So this is a day that you could seriously get bent over and get a ass whooping. So I just want to make sure that everybody is fully, you know, aware that this is a day you may want to protect yourself. Love you all. Peace be with you. I'm Kim. You've been watching Kim Wilson TV.